The core committee on the Parliamentary Committee on Naga Political Issue held a crucial meeting at the Chief Minister's residential complex today. Sources who attended the closed-door meeting informed Northeast Life that the core committee led by Chief Minister Nephew Rio will be leaving for New Delhi on the 16th of May. The core committee is all set to meet the, meet the central leaders, NSCNIM, and the seven NNPGs who are currently camping out in New Delhi. The four-member delegation will be led by Chief Minister Nephew Rio. The four-member delegation includes UDA Chairman T.R. Zeliang, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, and NPF Leader and UDA Co-Chairman Kuzoluzo Nienu. Apart from this, Chief Minister Nephew Rio and UDA Chairman T.R. Zeliang also briefed the members about their recent visit to New Delhi, where they, along with the Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, held meetings with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah on the 12th and 13th of April, respectively. And as discussed in the meetings with the central leaders, A.K. Mishra, the interlocutor, came to Nagaland and camped for a week and met both the negotiating groups as well as key leaders of civil societies before returning to New Delhi. Yes, viewers, the big development to start us off here this evening as the core committee on the, Naga, on the parliamentary committee on Naga political issue held a crucial meeting at the chief minister's residential complex today. Sources who attended the closed-door meeting informed Northeast Life that the core committee led by Chief Minister Nephew Rio will be leaving for New Delhi on the 16th of May. The core committee is also all set to meet with the central leaders, the NSC and IM, and the seven NNPGs who are currently camping out in New Delhi. The four-member delegation will be led by Chief Minister Nephew Rio. The four-member delegation, of course, includes UDA Chairman T.R. Zeliang, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, and NPF Leader and UDA Co-Chairman Kuzo Luzo Nienu. Apart from this, Chief Minister Nephew Rio and UDA Chairman T.R. Zeliang also briefed the members about their recent visit to Delhi, where they, along with the Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, held meetings with, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah on the 12th and 13th of April, respectively. And as discussed in the meetings with the central leaders, A.K. Mishra, the interlocutor, came to Nagaland and camped out for a week and met both the negotiating groups and key leaders of the civil societies before returning to Delhi. All right, and to bring us all the latest updates, I'm being joined now over the phone line by my colleague Sarah Konyak from Kohima. Sarah, big development as far as the Naga issue is concerned, as the core committee led by Chief Minister Nephew Rio all set to visit the national ca capital again on the 16th of May. What more can you tell us about this crucial closed door meeting that took place today? Sarah, over to you. Uh, yes, Ronald, the core committee of the Parliamentary Committee on the indo naga Political Issue held a meeting today and uh, and uh, as informed by our source, uh, the core committee have decided that they will be leaving for Delhi on 16th of May and the four-member delegation, which is going to be led by the Chief Minister Nepirio, will be camping in Delhi for almost three to four days uh, and during, this, uh, during their stay in the national capital, they will be meeting the central leaders Although they have, although the sources have not confirmed uh, which all uh, ministers, uh, which all central leaders they will be meeting, but uh, they have stated they'll be meeting uh, the central leaders and also the NSC and IM and the seven NPGs who are camping in Delhi at the moment. The NSC and IM delegations uh, led by DS Assem, the nine-member delegation had left for Delhi in week and had, uh, they already had two rounds of talk with the government of India representative Mr. A.K. Mishra yesterday and uh, the second round of talk being held today. Although we have not been able to uh, confirm on uh, the uh, on what transpired during the meeting between the nine-member delegation of the NSC and IM and the government of India representative. However, some sources have confirmed to us that they are still uh, trying to work out uh, every way to hammer out a solution on the core issue or on the on the core issue of the of a separate flag and a constitution. Uh, so uh, th that is the main agenda uh, of the meeting that uh, that has been held that that has been held 
with the government of India representative and the NAC and I am. And uh, as we all know, just last month, the government of India representative camped in Nagaland for a week where he held two rounds of meetings with the NAC and I am leadership and one round of meeting with the working committee of the seven NNPGs. Um, the, and uh, the government of India representative, Mr. Mishra, had also held several closed door meetings with the tribal bodies and the civil society organizations. And, uh, Ronok, as, uh, as we have been witnessing the developments unfolding, both the uh, negotiators and the government of India are very keen and serious upon resolving the decades long issue. Uh, however, the roadblock uh, for the past many years um, after signing the framework agreement in 2015 continues and a final agreement still remains in uh, While the NNPGs, uh, while the NNPGs have made their position clear that they are ready to sign, uh, they are ready to sign the final solution anytime. Uh, however, the NSA and I am still very firm on its demand on the symbolic issues of separate black and uh, constitution. And uh, as I've been mentioning, both the parties are trying to work out every formula to uh, to hammer out a solution on these core issues. And uh, and also, Ronald, a uh, point we made here is that uh, these developments are very crucial and significant uh, to the point where the BGP, who is at power at the center, have committed to the Nagas in the last 2018 general elections with the slogan, election for solution. Right. And with the next 2023 election, uh, general election fast approaching, uh, time is uh, time seems to be running out as no concrete breakthrough has been made since then in the ongoing peace talks. Uh, and Ronald, we have just uh, we uh, have also received the information that uh, the uh, the seven uh, that the NNPG uh, uh, flew today to the national capital. Uh, it is going to be an informal meeting uh, between the government of India representative, uh, Mr. A. K. Mishra, and the convener, Mr. Uh, uh, Kitobi Zumomi, and the coordinator, Mr. Alezo. Uh, Mr. Alezo, and uh, the another information that we have received is that the former Chief Minister of Nagaland, Mr. E. C. Jamir, is also in Delhi at the moment, and uh, we have been able to confirm that he is there in Delhi specifically uh, to discuss on the Naga political issue. And uh, just in just uh, last month, on 4th of April, uh, Mr. E. C. Jamir had met uh, the Prime Minister, where he had urged upon him to resolve the Naga issue without any delay, as the Naga people desire to live in peace as any other citizen of the country. Donald. Right, and uh, Sarah, you know, we've also been given to understand that that, that, the, that uh, the Deputy Chief Minister as well as the Chief Minister also briefed the gathering at the crucial meeting today about their recent meeting that was held with the Prime Minister Modi and Union Home Minister Amit Shah last month. So could you briefly tell us a little bit more on that, Sarah? Uh, yes, Ronald. Uh, the closed room meeting, which was held to get the chief minister residential office, uh, residential uh, complex. Uh, it is to be mentioned here that this meeting also comes after the defection of the 21 MLAs from the NPF to the NDPP uh, party to the NDPP fold. And as the NPF, the newly elected NPF leader, Mr. Azu Nenu, has been elected as the co. Uh, co-chairman of the United Democratic Alliance. Uh, this meeting comes after this. Uh, uh, it, uh, the meeting has been called in order to brief the members, the elected members, about their recent visit to Delhi, where they have met the Prime Minister and the Home right. Minister of Malaysia, where they have uh, uh, where, where, they, where they have specifically uh, con uh, briefed them about the peace. Right, right. Absolutely, Sarah Konyak. Thank you very much for joining us this evening and bringing us all of those latest updates.